backward turned across Solberg in turn one, and the resulting contact put backward into the wall hard. That left teammate Ken Block nowhere to go at the corner exit, and he collected him. I don't think I hit uh, Blackwood. I don't think so, because I think he was. I lost it completely. And uh, if something happened, you know, he must have when he came back. I, I'm not sure, but I don't think I hit him when I looked on the looked on the film. I had a very good start from the outside. I, I tried to go smoothly, smoothly in, and I think what happened was just a little racing accident. I I came in and uh, Solberg and Matthias got a bit out, and uh, I. As you saw, it was raining, it was slippery. I lost the rear of the car and just ended up in the wall, spun around, got out, back out on track, and then my teammate Ken hits me, unfortunately. To be honest, it's, my, it's the biggest impact I've ever had in a car. Green light on Chris Dobson with the stall so back and to avoid him right off the line. That was massive. He nearly shunted in the rear end. Liam was just talking about how hard it is to get these cars off the line, and Chris Dobson has had a disaster. Hansen, Timmy goes yeah. in, so Timmy Hansen comes in. Watch for where Timmy Hansen comes out. He's going to try and get the gas on Solberg. Christopherson, Christopherson's going to go tight. Oh, Hansen up the inside of Christopherson. You could see Christopherson from the tire smoke was definitely trying to shut the door, but he couldn't. He tries to go round the outside of a turn two. Hand breaks the car in. He's having a look up the inside of turn two, but there's no room. Brilliant defensive drive by, by Timmy there, but, but also Christopherson trying to close the door. Trying equipment. everything he possibly can. Yeah. Over the jump, you can see the score marks in the road. Andreas is in, so Andreas has gone in to try and get the job done. This move really, really close oh, now. Oh, he goes all the way around the outside of Solberg. Andreas Baccarat carries that extra pace off the joker. Lap. Absolutely brilliant by Baccarat. Fantastic tactics. He's on the handbrake as well and gets the car sideways and now goes defensive. So what do you do now for Scheider and Ekstrom? These guys are in a train lane. There's nowhere to merge. If you come out in the middle of this, it is danger. Ekstrom, I can see from the contribution, is over it. We're following Baccarat, who's chasing those guys down. They're both into the joker. Ekstrom and Scheider into the joker. Baccarat's going to come around the double left-hander. I think these guys have got enough time. Scheider's possibly going to come under attack. No, he hasn't. So Scheider and Ekstrom, the two DTM drivers, are out clear. And the guys in the background are going to have to fight it out for a podium spot. Look at Ekstrom backing it in. You can tell by how close these six cars are together, just how close the performance is between these teams. They've all done their winter homework. It's going to be a fantastic season. But the world champion starts his title defence with a win. Scheider goes with him. Backer at P3, Solberg, Hansen, Christofferson. They are so close. We are in for a mega year of World Rallycross Championship action. Fantastic stuff. Cannot wait to see the final. We've got a fight on our hands. Timmy Hansen up on the gravel section. Coming down, he's going slowly. Hansen, I looked, I thought he was going slowly. Hansen's got a problem. He was going to win the second semi final. He's gone. Will he make it to the line? He's going to get pushed around. Who's going to go through? The timing screen show Kronholm and Balmanis. Extra Gron and Balmanis. I saw Hansen. Oh, he's so sorry. Last lap. I thought that was the last lap. Hansen's gone from the lead. And I've completely lost it. I think there's one other one. I think Loads come up to second now. Loads right oh, up there. Still, no, he's yeah, got Loads it. second. So Peugeot's gamble of taking Kevin Hampton out of it. Uh, it's totally through to paid second. off after the carnage of his own teammate coming out of the lead. So allow, I was convinced we were on the last lap. I saw Hansen in the background of the shot rolling through the chicane at the top of the hill. I thought he had a problem, looked out the window and he was going slowly. One of them got him on the way down the hill, the others got him down the bottom corner. Yellow flags out for extra. He's gonna have to take a different line. Hansen is sitting in the car, watching the positions go away from him. But you get caught up. You know, I saw. Oh, he knows. He it's, knows. That's the worst feeling because he was a lap away from going through to the final. Yeah, so they're going to be feeling the pressure. And Kevin goes in now. So Kevin's gone off to cover off Gronholm. Kevin into the joke lap. Look in the background there for Nick Bass. Gronholm going to try and come around. Balmanis is on the inside. Gronholm can't take the line he wants to take. And Kevin carries the speed. So that's Kevin managed to get past Gronholm. Gronholm's strategy has hurt him here, unfortunately. The early joker hasn't worked out. No, unfortunately not. And, uh, you know, the pace of Balmanis just wasn't enough to carry Gronholm through. And fantastic call from the Hansen team to get Kevin in. They saw the gap there. And uh, you make taking advantage of Gronholm being slightly held up. Gronholm in that QB. 
Val Manis will have to go joker on this lap, as will Timmy Hansen and Andreas Bakkerud. Bakkerud was right up behind Kevin. Can Bakkerud do anything on this lap to nick P2 off Kevin Hansen? You are about to find out. Through the long left goes Timmy Hansen. Kevin on the inside. Andreas Bakkerud on the outside. Gronholm's in there too. Bakkerud's past Gronholm. Can he pass Kevin Hansen? He might have a look on the inside on the run into this last corner. We've seen it in Oryx 2, but Bakkerud keeps it sensible. Kevin's just running slightly wide of the paint. Backward still up underneath him. No such problems out front. Timmy Hansen, it was a disaster in Abu Dhabi. He has come back in incredible style. Hansen takes the win in Barcelona, the third ever clean sweep in the world. Running cross chapter. His brother Kevin makes it a 1 2 for Hansen. And Andreas Backward in P3. Fantastic performance. Unlucky for him, Christopherson though will be very happy with that because he's now chasing down the car, which he of course was a bit quicker than Backward earlier on today, but will he be as quick as, uh, as Ekstrom? Well, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Backward right behind him, Gronholm too up there, so Loba's joker, remember, Solberg is going, Solberg got going and he's at the top of the hill now from the common position, we can see him, he's heading down towards that hairpin in the background. Loeb's got clear air and in the final, it doesn't matter quite so much if you joker early because the cars in front you know are fast. Yeah, absolutely, how much are we going to bet that Solberg gets the fastest lap in this final? Because he, yeah, he will be angry. And uh, I think there will be some goings on after this race about that on, on uh, with the judicial side of it because there was nothing he could do about it. We'll have to see the replay and see how hard Ekstrom was giving the squeeze. So let's okay, have a here look we go. As it goes into turn one. Ekstrom there, there's a bit of uh, Solberg's going to feel hard done by because Solberg was on the white line here. Where was he going to go? You so know, you think Ekstrom's put him in the wall? I wouldn't say he's put him in the wall, but he certainly lent on him on his way into the wall. So Solberg will be angry about that, and I, I can see that. But Ekstrom will be saying, look, I had to start. I had a wing in front of him. I was coming across. So I'm sure there'll be that will go to the stewards, because Solberg will look at that as he's been he's Super been Supercar final, by. turn one incident I, under I think investigation. That's, obvious, that's always going to happen, because oh. I'm sure someone from VW would already have been up there. In the charge to the first corner, Ekstrom and Solberg wanted the same piece of track and physics dictated that only one would fit. Solberg lost that scrap, Ekstrom took the lead. Ekstrom defended with all the skills expected of a former champion and took the flag in top spot. But with the ticker tape still fluttering in the air, he knew he faced another battle as the stewards began to look again at that first corner incident with Solberg. The officials made their decision. Ekstrom was eliminated from the final. <laughs> 